What's up, everybody? Happy fucking Sunday. That's what? right, people. We've moved. It's a new night and a new time. This is Christy Unleashed with Mark Riccadonna, and we are coming to you sort of live from Governor's Comedy Club Radio in beautiful downtown nothing. Anyway. <laughs> I know we got some. I'm in Myrtle Beach, so it's way more, way more nothing than there. Myrtle Beach? That's your drag name. <laughs> what up, girl? What up, baby? Uh, yes, we have moved to Sunday nights at 8 p.m. because Mark and I are just some busy-ass motherfuckers. Oh, are we really, though? Really? I mean, <laughs> in our own minds, we're busy, but... I like to pretend. Yeah. Hi. I got I a lot something. going on. I have something to do today. <laughs> I got a lot going on. I had breakfast and then lunch. <laughs> and then, you know, I'm going to go to bed at some point. I'm like, I got up. I had to get dressed. <laughs> I, I, I drank a coffee. And then I went to the gym. I am, I'm done. I'm so tired. <laughs> After this last year, the pandemic, this, that's a full, full schedule. Dude, crushing it. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag grinding. That's right. It's coffee grinding, but it's grinding. Good night. Good night. Good night. Where's my flat? Uh. <laughs> Folks, that's my time. Thank you for joining us. We're no longer on air. <laughs> We're on drugs, sweetie. Anything? Nothing? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm losing my fucking mind. But anyway, yes, I, uh, I'm so happy to be on Sunday nights. And uh, yeah. just gives us a little more time to chill out. And we're earlier. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so should we kick off this Sunday night soiree, motherfuckers? All right, you pieces of shit. It's that time. You know what time it is, bitch. It's time to pour the celebrity. All right, motherfucker. Let's pour the Sunday tea. Oh. I got some. I got some truly wild, very hard seltzer because I like getting white girl drunk. You are a white girl wasted. Oh. <laughs> hey, sweetie, you're white gonna, girl wasted. <laughs> I need to see your manager. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm the that, hairiest Karen. You're Heron. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Harriet. <laughs> Her that's hairiest nothing <laughs> hey i went to build a bear and i saw mark rigadonna do 10 minutes <laughs> nothing <laughs> it's my home club <laughs> that's where mark gets his spare parts <laughs> Well, speaking of build a bear, we're going to go to build a share. Hey, share sues Mary Bono for one million dollars over missing royalties. Is it a uh, million dollars a lot of money to her, though? Oh, please! It's like five bucks to us. I know. <laughs> Sweetie, like... you're going to give me my eighty-five dollars. Pay it up, sweetie. <laughs> you and I are like a million dollars. Cher's like, who gives a fuck? Yeah, she's Cher's like, oh, sweetie, that's nothing. You could write me a check. <laughs> Sonny, check the cushions of your couch. Right? <laughs> Sonny, yesterday you didn't pay my million dollars. <laughs> uh, of course, Cher, man, get your money, bitch. Get your wig get your money, money, honey. Get your yes, wig money, bitch, because that wigs is fierce, honey. <laughs> I'm I'm sweating the easy pass going through the Lincoln Tunnel. She's, <laughs> She's like, I need my I got you, babe, royalties. I need a new wig. 
I just rescued an elephant in India. You know, the elephants, because the kids on Twitter told me about the elephants. You know the elephant I saved? Chaz! Sweetie, that was you, you big fat man. Fat man, Jake and the fat man. I was waiting for a mask reference. Um, <laughs> he looks like the elephant man. Hey, I'm not an animal, but you know what, sweetie? <laughs> You're, I think you are. What the fuck is that head? Sweetie. <laughs> I was just said, when you ask for a little head, you, you know, <laughs> you can't give it. Rocky Dennis can't give a little head. It's too big. Nothing? <laughs> <laughs> hey sweetie Chaz you know you're hey Louis Anderson called said he wants his look back <laughs> stop stealing hey you guys work <laughs> survey says <laughs> oh fuck oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, in the first stop I play rib shirt. <laughs> hey, I had mine removed to look skinnier. Nothing. <laughs> I took a rib out and put it in my lip. <laughs> Keeps my lips nice, you know. Hey, sweetie, Madame Tussaud looks better than me. I got a Madame Tussauds. They tried to lock me in. You know. <laughs> I had a lot of surgery. You fuck. Anyway, uh. <laughs> when all else fails just make fun of somebody and Cher's voice it's so much nicer <laughs> hey you big dyke hey look at me saying a bad word PC culture canceled <laughs> according to the CDC Cher's not allowed to rest at a park she's been on too much plastic <laughs> Are you kidding? The CD stands, stands for uh, Shares Disease Corporation. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> the Center for Disease and Share. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> she dies, I got to recycle it. <laughs> oh, sweetie, I could get a nickel. <laughs> She's like an empty Pepsi bottle. You can't put me in the ocean, sweetie. I'll clog up a turtle's nose. <laughs> Plastic man. <laughs> I'm killing the ozone layer, sweetie. <laughs> 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 when she sings ozone hole gets bigger <laughs> yeah when we were in lockdown you know my plastic wasn't outside you know decomposing and the ozone layer repaired during the pandemic <laughs> ozone layer <laughs> hey that's what I use on my skin this ozone layer it keeps the wrinkles out <laughs> nothing any, anybody going to work with me tonight, sweetie? <laughs> well, speaking of out-of-work Barbie dolls, <laughs> Britney Spears. She's back. <laughs> um, Lord have mercy on my family's souls if I ever do an interview. Ooh, no sheep but a doe. That sounds like a threat. I double dog dare her to say something. Do it. Do it, Britney. Do Come it. on, Brittany, do it. Do she's it. like, she's like, in the meantime, I'm staying clear of the business, which is all I've ever known my whole life, which is why this she, is so she very said that to her publicist. To yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, she she's said letting that. her publicist know she's staying out of the business. No, she's letting the conservative ship know. She's like, I'm not trying to fuck up. Literally, she said, I don't want to make a mistake, so I'm just going to wrap myself in bubble wrap and sit in the corner and suck my fiance's dick. Like she's afraid to even leave the house because she doesn't want to fuck good. up and get locked up again. Yeah. That's a good job for the husband or fiance. Shit. <laughs> All right. I'm down. <laughs> All right, Brittany, suck me baby one more time. <laughs> Do it till I'm dry. <laughs> I'm a slave for you. 
<laughs> it's almost like Cap- it's like Catherine Hepburn. Uh, 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 oh my God, you're toxic. <laughs> If she gets Parkinson's, somebody's going to know. Uh, no, they're not. <laughs> I'm a slave. <laughs> I like what you're doing with your voice. I can't help it. <laughs> hey, can you hold this and shake it? <laughs> Don't open that beer. Brittany had it. <laughs> Sam likes, ooh, just hold my dick. Just hold my dick. Just hold my dick. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, we're good. We're good. Five more minutes. Uh, yeah, her sister is like, it's like she's roasting all of her fucking family. Like she's shading <laughs> her sister. Her sister has a book coming out in 2022. What's it called? Things I Should Have Said, Jamie Lynn Spears. And it was gonna go to, uh, so uh, actually it's the things I should have said. And uh, Brittany called it, she changed the name of it. What did she say? Uh, I think the book was called Pale. Living in my sister's shadow. <laughs> <laughs> it was called, uh, yeah, because the, the the book that came out is, uh, it, it was supposed to help fund, like donate proceeds to this uh, mental health organization called This Is oh. My Brave. <laughs> Wait, she's helping mental health? Yeah, after oh. she, yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. Ah. And they and now they're turning it down. They don't <laughs> want any money from Jamie Lynn after the way she's talked about her sister and all the shit that came out. Things I should have said should be called things I should have said to my parents. Like, <laughs> like you think you should have said to Brittany, things you should have said to your fucking parents, things you should have said to the public to get this bitch out of it. The foundation's going. Uh the proceeds go to help mentally ill people. We're not down with paying mentally ill people for writing a book though. Yeah. They're, they're like, how bad is it that a nonprofit organization that relies on donations is like, yeah, we're good. We can't, we can't take money from her. She's fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> She's a bat. Sh- we just have to send her the check back. Cause that's who we're helping these fucking mentally ill. And also, I always say people with three names are serial killers. John Wayne Gacy. Yep. John Wilkes Booth. Jamie Lynn Spears. Coincidence. <laughs> Billy Ray Valentine. <laughs> Billy Ray Cyrus. Yep. <laughs> Billy Bob Thornton. Yeah. <laughs> Jan Michael Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he actually is a serial killer. <laughs> he went full Trump tard, so he's good. So he needs yeah, the money. <laughs> <laughs> that reference pulled out. Brilliant. Oh, I pulled that way out of the fucking. Had to dust it off. <laughs> you lubed up to your fucking elbow to reach in there for that. Uh, and his career, it was, it was, his career was too small. His name was bigger. So I had to grab that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you ever see those people that do the catfish fishing and they reach into the water and pull the fish out by their mouths? Oh, yeah. That's what you just did. Yeah. <laughs> but I would have rather gotten a catfish. <laughs> uh, better taste. Oh, bigger. <laughs> better career. Sexier. Oh, <laughs> fully better actors. <laughs> True. Uh, well, speaking of uh, shitty actors who've been pulled out of the past and dusting off some old shit, former Cosby Show actress Lily Bernard sues Bill Cosby for sexual assault. She's keeping up with the times. Um, you see? Oh, she. She, uh, one of Bill Cosby's multiple alleged victims has officially filed a civil suit against the comedian, actress Lily Bernard, former actress on The Cosby Show, filed suit against a comedian in New Jersey federal court last week. 
hey, uh, I waited till t- now because everybody else was, at the- that must have been a long ass line to file. Oh my it's God, no think about that. It's like at the when you're at a deli in fucking Brooklyn, they're like, take a number and you pull the number and it's like 10,782. I'll just go get bread from the grocery store. I'm out. It's like waiting in line to the DMV. <laughs> Except friendlier. Uh, at least, at least you though? get a cocktail. At least you get a cocktail when you're waiting with Bill. I know you get sex at a cocktail. <laughs> DMZ, they just fuck you. That's all they do. <laughs> they don't even. They don't even drug you up first. Man, the shit that she's <laughs> claiming though, I'm like, ooh. What, what do we got going on here? Ooh. She said, I have waited. This is her words. I have waited a long time to be able to pursue my case in court. And I look forward to being heard and to hold Cosby accountable for what he did to me. Although occurred a long time ago, I still live with fear, pain, and shame every day of my life. And that what she claimed is he looked upon Miss Bernard as if she were his daughter and took her on as a mentor. And then often spending time stressing that chastity is a virtue warner of the sexual pressures of hollywood and he also instructed her that she was welcome to refer to him as daddy yeah yeah you see take a drink of this so she she, she they, they break this shit down upon what such mentoring session at a suite at the trump taj mahal hotel in casino in atlantic city there's your problem How right there appropriate right and raped in a raper hotel uh cosby allegedly prepared bernard a non-alcoholic beverage however upon ingesting it she reports that she began to feel symptoms of dizziness and urge to vomit and weakness before starting to flow in and out of consciousness she claims to have woken at one point to find Cosby naked on top of her and recalls telling him no. Cosby reportedly gave Bernard money and established return transportation back to New York for her the next morning. And then there uh, also documents details threats and intimidation tactics from Cosby to Bernard after this assault and multiple other cited instances of battery, rape, and involuntary drugging between the two. He allegedly stated that he would sue the actress for defamation of character, stifle her acting career, and erase her if she reported any of the alleged, alleged incidents to the police. Who does that sound like? Mm, Cosby. <laughs> Weinstein, Cosby, like that's hey, some that's that some pretty fucking defecation of character. Cause you shitting all over my name. <laughs> you see, when you defecate off a character, you melt the pudding pop, and I can't drug a bitch and fuck her. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, everybody, listen, everybody in Hollywood, you get these motherfuckers, man. This is such a deep issue for so long, and everybody's acting shocked that this is coming out now. This has been going on for so long and so deep for so many years since the inception of Hollywood that it's just like people, you're getting busted now. People are not afraid to say anything anymore. And mm-hmm. it's like, and, and they keep doing it. That's the crazy part. I mean, you know, I, I, I don't keep doing it, but. <laughs> I'm not getting a chance to do it. <laughs> I have to search, you know. <laughs> Will somebody I'm, rape me and drug me, please. please? I need a career. Someone, I, I need to go viral. Anybody. And I don't mean gonorrhea. Hey, this is the best <laughs> Keep your dirty dick in your pants. I don't want to go viral that way. Listen, I'm telling you, and I always say this, Louis C.K., if you're out there, will you jerk off in front of me so I can open for you? So anyway, speaking of fucking scuzzy, creepy, duty, you know, daddies. 
Terry Bradshaw. Oh. I know. Come on. Is being canceled for acknowledging Aaron Andrews' cowboy outfit. <laughs> okay, listen, d- listen I'm going to cut. Off, Terry Bradshaw is the best haircut in America. Flat out. <laughs> no, nobody has a better hair to he can sexually harass anyone he wants with that haircut <laughs> a, the pervert horseshoe haircut is allowed yep. to sexually harass women it's mandatory and government funded yep every guy with that hairdo is allowed to grab Sex- girls by the butt right and you'll sexual advances out but now here's the thing i'm gonna cut to the clip of it right now of what he said here it is. You got your cowboy boots on and your shirt. You're looking good. That was nice. I enjoyed that interview. Devin White. Okay, here's my issue. I don't think he meant it creepily. It, and, yeah. and she doesn't either because she would have tweeted about it and got on her high horse to get some love and attention. She didn't say anything about it. All he said was, oh, you got your cowboy hat on. You got your cowboy. You're looking great. You're looking really good there. I love the interview. And I think because he's just such a fucking, you know, white school. He's old school. That dude's been beat up more than a fucking boxer. His brain is mush. He meant it as a nice compliment. You know, he's a, he was, isn't he a Texas guy? Isn't he like, where does he live? Yeah. Or Florida. He's just, whatever. It's all the same white trash. Um, <laughs> it's all the same thing but he's like an old school white good old boy and he he was ref- I, the way i took it he was referencing the hat and the shirt like yeah you're representing cowboy because you're you're interviewing the cowboys and, and you know you're you're, you're they yeah, were on, no they nice, were uh, not the cowboys they were um she was interviewing the linebacker devin white from the buccaneers and they were on his horse because he has horses and they were on his little horse ranch. And then she was interviewed, yeah. so she dressed the part. But the thing is, Aaron Andrews is a little sleazy. And she was wearing a jean skirt, cowboy boots, as you see in the video, her blue button-up shirt, and her cowboy hat. She's looking sexy. I don't think, I don't think she was inappropriate. I don't think nope. he was inappropriate. Nope. I'm sorry. Not of the work. Right. And Aaron Andrews is known for just being like a little slutty. And good for her. If I had her job, I'd be fucking everybody. Hello. <laughs> I heard she fucked Jeter and I was like, God damn it, I need this job. Why am I not interviewing these people? Right? I'm easy too. <laughs> Come on, I'm a sure thing. Can I interview them? Anybody? <laughs> Sweetie? <laughs> you can't pop plastic. <laughs> What's going to happen is. Uh, it's going to scare men away from being any kind of uh, 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 friendly, nice uh, compliment. So even yeah. like guys like me who just want to say like, hey, I like your haircut. Looks good. Because that's what you'd say to somebody who just got a haircut. Right. He's going to go, yeah, I'm not going to say anything. And then people are going to go, that guy's a dick. I just got a haircut. I thought I it looked it. good. Yeah, he didn't even, even you did it, or, or someone you know, like you didn't even notice my haircut. It's like you can't win. No, because I'm not allowed to fucking talk to you because I'm getting in trouble. Mm-hmm. So this whole thing of canceling Terry Bradshaw is stupid. He didn't mean anything by it. He was talking about the fact that she was representing, you know, the, you know, cowboys and cow. It, like she looked adorable. She wasn't inappropriate. She wasn't tits no. weren't hanging out. Ass wasn't showing. She was dressed like a like a typical down southern girl. And he's like, yeah, you got the cat because she doesn't wear that shit. And she put yeah. on like a, it was almost like a costume. He's like, oh, you got your shirt, your cat. He didn't say her skirt. He didn't say her legs. He just said, oh, you got your cowboy hat on, your cowgirl shirt. You're looking good. Yeah, what's wrong All with the interview? That? There was nothing wrong with it. And this is why I can't stand people. I really yeah. can't. Um, it, it's going to go downhill really, really fucking quick. Yeah. And I didn't find it anything inappropriate she hasn't even said anything like i mean when he took his dick out and started beating off that was inappropriate but was it though not really i mean he was trying to show her how to tie a lasso 
listen, he was totally showing her that, you know, how to massage. Yeah, it was a prop comic thing. He, he had a he had a cramp. Yeah, he was rubbing it out. Hey, he had a cramp. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call jerking off. You got cramps? You need a mite all or a hand? Would you like wrap this up? That? I got a cramp. Yeah. <laughs> would, you, would you like a hand with that? <laughs> I gotta hand it to you. <laughs> but leave. Like stop with this fucking looking for shit. Stop with especially the fucking like stop with the binoculars. Dudes. Yeah, uh, especially like binoc- old dudes. Like, are you is somebody going to go back and like go after Dennis Farina for calling people baby doll? It's yeah. endearing. He's a Chicago fucking detective. The guy's allowed to fucking talk. He's allowed to be that way. It's endearing. It's cute. Listen, I'm so it's tired of dangerous. I'm so tired of people taking words and putting so much power into these stupid words and letting it ruin their fucking life have a thick skin just sometimes you just gotta let a shit roll off it's a tough world out there you know who taught me how to be tough growing up in san francisco the drag queens the trans community all the gays they taught me how to read for filth and not let shit bother me, let it roll off. Because the shit they got slung at them in the 70s and 80s and 90s growing up, these like drag queens would get killed if they, they were underground. Remember when they were underground in these underground clubs and basement bars and they had to hide, they couldn't advertise, afraid of getting mm-hmm. killed. The trans women were freaks. So they all, you know, so they weren't real people, so they couldn't get a normal job. So what did they end up doing? Tricking down in the tenderloin, selling their, their bussies. <laughs> And fucking trying to stay alive and get killed. Great word, by the way. Isn't it a great word? Bussy. It's a good word. Yeah, the butt pussy, the bussy, (laughs) and the the Gary bussy. (laughs) Hey, if it looks like if it looks like Gary bussy, I'm out. (laughs) Yeah, that thing's got teeth like Gary (laughs) bussy. Hey, hey, get over here. Utah, give me two. Utah, two meatballs. Oh God. I'm so I'm so hungry. I can eat the ass end of a dead rhino. You should have had you get me three of these. And uh, <laughs> I know the I know Point Break by heart. Don't even don't don't even dare me. There's, don't even. There's challenge a reason me. I love you. See, <laughs> pop quiz hot shot. <laughs> oh, that was speed. Never mind. Was- <laughs> Too much Keanu. <laughs> anyway, um, no. But, but this- here's what's crazy. And so Derry Bradshaw is gonna get fucking ruined because he said uh you look good you got the hat the cowboy shirt blah 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 but if you drug a cocktail and rape a girl you'll get out of your prison sentence that's cool yeah All right. our priorities we're, we're staying, are so fucked we're up staying consistent we're yep. staying consistent yep it's like they're fighting the battles they know they can win and ignoring the ones that they need to fight and losing the war yeah you might win oh, a battle but this you're battle yeah, but you lo- you lost the war, fuckface. So You're I can't. Make people turn. You're gonna I can't. make people turn on you. Mm-hmm. Why do you think I'm so crazy on stage? I do it because you know what? Fuck you. That's why. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> but I We're say crazy gonna... shit to to desensitize everybody. Like these are just stupid, silly words. Yeah, it's not worth getting worked up over. No. How about you get worked up over the people who are actually doing shit? Yeah. How about getting There's worked a lot up? of them. There's yeah. plenty of fights to go fight. Yeah. Yeah. Fight the battles that you need to fight. Oh, that's too scary. That's too much work. And that's accountability. I'll, I'm just going to go with my little narrative and just, you know, twist things around and take things out of context because Dave Chappelle's bad and they're good. But Dave Chappelle's just a comic. You know, yeah. he's just an idiot. If you don't like it, change the channel. Same thing with Terry Bradshaw. He's just an old white man an old ex-football player just a good old boy not mean and no harm <laughs> <laughs> hey that's a dukes of hazard reference sweetie but uh they're gonna go fight guys like uh what's his name who the governor from minnesota or whatever oh the, god stuart smalley yeah <laughs> they're going after stuart smalley but you know cosby's getting out of jail so yeah cosby's free to walk fight. You know, yeah yep yep <laughs> Speaking of a good fight, oh my. <laughs> this is my favorite fight in history. George Takei lays into William Shatner after his momentous space flight.
I live for George Takei, honey. I Dude, live for Nobody's missing. funnier on social media. Nobody's funnier in that. Dude, he, on social media. George Takei made memes famous. George Takei made being funny, joke, me, all his memes he would share. He's the one. This guy, this thing, is the I one. I like how millennials pretend that they're all up on social media. Meanwhile, fucking 90 year old George Takei. Yeah. Crushing it. Yeah. Oh, oh, excuse me, George Decayed. <laughs> uh, I, I just made that up, sweetie. <laughs> Everything I just make up. I have nothing prepared. <laughs> but, That's what is so amazing about you. Oh, George Takei has a well written made- show, doesn't have as many punchlines as you. Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, they need me on shows to punch it up. Anyway, so uh, as everybody knows, Star Trek, George Takei and William Shatner have hated each other since day one. Like William Shatner tried to get George Takei's part written off and or changed, wanted to get him fired. Oh. Yeah, he tried to get the part written off the show or written into another character altogether and get them off. They hated each other. Probably because wow. William See, I don't Sh- know it. Yeah. I don't know anything about this nerd shit. Well, if you read the article I sent you, you would. <laughs> <laughs> you, hey, you tell me to read. <laughs> God damn it. You, you tell, tell read, me to read. 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 It's not read. It should be R-E-E-D, not R-E-A-D. That's read. Reading is hard. A read is hard. Heard. Anyway, First so of all, you're talking about me, and and I'm in South Carolina. I oh, read. There ain't no books there. So anyway, <laughs> I'm surprised you have electricity. Uh, <laughs> they've hated each other forever. So uh, when George Takei was asked about probably about William Shatner going into space with Jeff Bezos, and uh, uh, my friend Eric Marino comic funny comic and a writer came up with the funniest shit he's so great he came up with the funniest joke and i hate him for it because he's so funny wigs in space (laughs) 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 yeah Eric, you're not even on the show tonight. You're crushing. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. So <laughs> Takei goes, suggested that William Shatner was not the fittest specimen and said that he was a guinea pig. He said... <laughs> He's not Italian. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh, so let me put some shot... Sade. <laughs> Sade <laughs> up on that so, motherfucker. She goes, and, and George Sakai goes, he's boldly going where other people have gone before. <laughs> <laughs> I died. Uh, and he goes, he's a guinea pig, 90 years old, and it's important to find out what happens. <laughs> 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 and he goes, and he tells him, so 90 years old is going to a show a great deal more on the wear and tear on the human body. So he'll be a good specimen to study. Although he's <laughs> not the fittest specimen of 90 years old, but so he'll just be a specimen that's unfit. <laughs> I was dying. And he's just, he's so shady without being shady. He's just I can so, picture him saying it. Right? Like he's both. He's so unfit. Yeah, I, I love it because he's like, I, my favorite, so he's boldly going where everyone's gone before. <laughs> I died. <laughs> George C.K., hero win. status. For the win. For the win, George. Oh, my. Oh, my. I, do, I make Axel do that all the time. And he <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> I love that your kid is named Axel. Like you're so white trash, like Axel Riccadonna. 
And doesn't it like Italians are like, they're even fucking Italian. You ain't even, <laughs> are you Italian? <laughs> are you really Italian? I like Axel. You should My- say his whole name was Axel Reno. <laughs> <laughs> Axel Reno, right? Axel yeah. Reno Rigadana. I don't. Know. My other, well, his middle name's Carlo. You got. Oh, you got a little bit. And then you got Duke. Duke. Duke Robert. <laughs> Duke Robert Rickadon. It's like, what is he, John Wayne? Like, <laughs> that was my grandfather's real name, Duke. Was? Yeah. Really? He yeah. didn't change. Was he in the witness protection program? <laughs> no, he was Duke Harris. And my uh, Angie's grandfather was Axel Schroeder, the big Swede. He was a boxer. Ah, oh, that's their family grandpa? names. Wow, yeah. look at you. Here, I yeah. thought it was after Axl Rose and John Wayne. Look where I am. <laughs> <laughs> John Wayne Gacy and yes! Axel and, Foley. Yeah, John <laughs> John Wayne Gacy, Jan Michael Vincent, you know. <laughs> All the cool people. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of like tragic Hollywood, oh. this is a sad story, but I have this to make rough. fun of it. Yeah, but I have yeah. to make fun of it because that's just what I do. I'm sorry. Because that's how I cope. People, I make it's fun of job. tragedy because that's how I deal with it. So yeah. I don't get upset. I have I have to part, laugh. It's who you are. It's part of your job. Yep. So uh, a Hollywood favorite, Alec Baldwin, shoots Boy, two people, him. one fatally during prop gun mishap on set of film Rust. It's so sad. It's just t- this is a Brandon Lee thing. Yeah. Like who who is in charge of the guns? Well, the problem is, is just the smallest thing can happen. A little piece of cardboard gets in that chamber. Yep. And when it bursts, I mean, it's it's tragic, and it's why safety on sets and unions are so Better. goddamn important. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. But uh, I was like. Uh, Dice called me and asked me if this was true. And uh, he's like, is this people making shit up or did this really happen? I said, no, it's true. It's sad. And he goes, he's a good guy. I go, I go, yeah, he is. He would never like intention. I go, the guy must be a basket case right now. He's probably, he must be a mess. I mean, first he's got the fake Spanish wife, the Rachel Dolezal of the Hamptons. <laughs> you know he would never kill it he would punch you for a parking place but he would never shoot anybody it's new york that's what you do you find a parking spot that's that's what he should have used the prop gun on that would make sense (laughs) poor guy poor alec baldwin though that's fucked Uh, up you gotta live with that for the rest of your fucking life and the DP that ended it's, up. She's being, dead. Died. She's she dead. Died Instantly. So young. I know. Like 40 something. Like 48, like, 47. It's just, she's it's just. Like, and the director's wounded. He's got serious injuries. Like, yeah, sure. Yeah. My only issue is, is why weren't they at a monitor? I think you said it earlier. Yeah. I why said, would they not be at a monitor? I've. Just out of safety, even if you trust the guys and you trust the props, it's still a real gun. Like these aren't like fake guns. These are real fucking guns with blanks in them. Why would you sit at the monitor as they're, if you're getting a close up of him shooting, get the fuck out of the way and just shoot the camera. Who cares? You can do it from a remote and do all the shit from a remote. You don't have to be behind the camera. Like, you could use your it's, it's a dangerous shot. Come yeah. on. Like, what are you doing? I mean, fuck. You don't even have to hang from a helicopter anymore. They have drones for this shit. Yeah. Why are you putting yourself in danger's way? Yeah. And I was thinking, I'm like, did somebody set them up? And how many takes do you think they did? How many takes do you think they did? Do you think they were behind the camera on every take? I don't know. Like, it's just, we don't this know. Is we weren't there. Bad footing. Yeah. This it's bad. Like, like, and I, was, and I asked Dice, I go, do you think somebody set him up? Yeah, like, who would do that? The one guy that sets the, why would he do that? Like, you know, like, if you, if it was a conspiracy of setting him up, you know what I mean? Like, or, or they want well, the, you know what hey, I mean? Like, it could be a million Christy, things. Let's be honest. There's been stupider conspiracies over the past year. 
Have there, and, though? <laughs> <laughs> you know, they were going to go on strike, so. Hmm. Yeah, uh-huh. Ex- Follow the money. Follow the money, Miller. Follow the money. Think about, okay, let's let's be like the crazy people and pretend it's, let's put on our tinfoil hats. Get, get the tinfoil hat. Yeah, get the tinfoil hat. I don't have any tinfoil because, you know, I'm a human. I'm normal. Um, well, I'm, I'm using a beer can. <laughs> <laughs> but let's put on our tinfoil hats and say somebody set them up to prove that unions matter and we need a raise. But you're going to be willing to kill a DP? A double penetration? Hey! That's that the only DP that's been killing. <laughs> hey, gay, gay. Uh, come on. And the direct, like, you're willing to kill people to get, like, it, it doesn't make any sense. It's it's an accident. Yeah. It happens. It it's should just happen. so unfortunate. You, that's so just like, unfortunate. it's so sad. And my heart goes out to Alec Baldwin. Because now he's got to live with this for the rest of his and life. And the family of the DP. Who? And the family of the DP. <laughs> we'll let her. I mean, we don't know her name, but. No, everybody involved. Like, it's, there's so many people involved. Like, it's effects. This is like, it's just sad. You know, this is guns. It's the special effects department. They yeah. want to be doing this digitally. And they're coming. I'm doing Alex Jones. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, please don't. <laughs> Please don't. Gay frogs. <laughs> gay frogs. <laughs> what? <laughs> frogs are gay, okay? Oh, great. We got to add an F to the fucking alphabet people. The LGBTQIAFs. Frogs. <laughs> really, sweetie? Ah, <laughs> uh, God. Well, speaking of crazy people and... Uh, not a tinfoil hatter, but just a mess. One of my favorite people in the whole world. Real Housewives of New York. One of my favorite shows. I'm, I'm gonna favorite. I'm gonna sit out on this one and let you just slam it, and I'm gonna laugh because I don't know who these people are. Oh no, and, you're in. Right. I'm dragging you in this one. You're gonna want to be in this story, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Real Housewives of New York, Sonia Morgan calls Heather Thompson a liar after vagina cigarette claim. Just like New York City, Sonia Morgan never goes out of style. Now, for those of you that don't know... How many times have we heard this story? Constantly. (laughs) I mean, Miller, how many times have you been accused of vagina cigarette stories? Uh, What what time is it today? Today. I mean, today. Yeah, uh, right before this show. So, so it got a half a shade. <laughs> but Sonia Morgan. The other hand was controlling the cigar. I was trying to sick it in my schmoony. So an ex-housewife, uh, Heather Thompson, she's from the earlier uh, seasons, uh, says that she, uh, that uh, Sonia Morgan used to let men put lit cigarettes in her vagina. So. Which how side? would you? Yeah. Is the burnt side, is the vagina needed a cigarette after sex. Don't you know anything? <laughs> was, were they putting the cigarette out like an ashtray? No, the were vagina they was smoking. Her take puffs yeah. And it blew was... rings back out at their face. Oh, it always blew rings because uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's in the mud flaps holding that cigarette <laughs> and, the, and the ass gets longer. <laughs> The smoke comes out like a New York City yeah. uh, manhole. Yeah. <laughs> hey, who let the jellyfish on fire? Do it, do it, do it. This reminds me of being home. (laughs) 
<laughs> now we know what Big Ange likes to do. I smoke after sex. Not me, my pussy <laughs> likes to sex. I smoke a ham, sweetie. <laughs> Oh, no, you, you remind me of shit my mom would say. It's so fucking funny. Oh my god. We're <laughs> <laughs> gonna take a break. I'm gonna tell that. Like an old BET comedy. <laughs> You're like Bruce Bruce. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you said a BET comic. I hate you. <laughs> ah, it's hilarious. <laughs> now my face hurts. <laughs> 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 oh my god well speaking of sweaty BET comics <laughs> Kanye West dons oh. creepy prosthetic Caucasian mask for cab ride from JFK <laughs> come on is he real like, and just somebody, please. Oh, I'm putting the picture up right now. <laughs> He's like a broke Michael Myers. <laughs> it's like, look at this picture. And I mean SNL, SNL Michael Myers, not the Can I... <laughs> Honey, this, look at this picture. This mask has eye, a smoky eye. Like, this is like the worst. Maybe it was around Sonia's pussy. Right? <laughs> it looks like you got in a Kim's makeup kit again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't with this. And then this one with the blue man group. Look at this thing. <laughs> I can't. Like, what is he? Like, who are you fooling? You think everybody's looking at you? Put that mask on. Everybody's looking at you. He's going to end up on the Instagram page, What is New York? <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> or Subway <People> Creatures. Have... <laughs> the mole people. <laughs> Sorry, Kanye. <laughs> I can't. This mask. I can't. I can't. Really? Like, it's just like, it's like Max Headroom fuck the blue man group and uh, I can't like it's so stupid like it's like what it like uh, it's just it's so at some bad. point people have to get tired of them they yeah, have to well, just be done with them well Kim was yeah so if the divorce goes through he might end up a mole person that oh. motherfucker doesn't know how to hold on the money nope he's selling his Wyoming ranch Kim got the estate in Calabasas and the divorce settlement <laughs> night good night kanye <laughs> yep kanye worst good night <laughs> i can't i can't uh, like it's it's so hey kim put ass in calabasas good night <laughs> that was bad <laughs> kanye's <laughs> joining skid row Oh, they're oh. doing a combination? No, oh. he's living on Skid Row now. He's, he's with the rest of the tent people in downtown LA. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to hear my new album? You guys like hip hop? Yo. I got, I got CDs. I got CDs. I, I'm a Christian rapper. Three for five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Are you crushing a beer can? Maybe. It's my hat, <laughs> not a beer can. Oh, thank God Kim got rid of that fucking creepy motherfucker. <laughs> hey, is that my new Rocky Dennis? Hey, Kanye Dennis. You could be a mask part too. <laughs> Eric Stoltz is pissed right now. <laughs> Motherfucker's taking my gig. <laughs> He's like, I'm the big headed freak. <laughs> 
thank you. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Kanye laughing. Yo, that's funny shit. I'm dying laughing over here. He looks like he's storing nuts in his mouth like a squirrel. He looks like somebody farted and it was him and he doesn't want anybody to know. <laughs> Speaking of farts that no one knows, Kim, thank God Kim got rid of him because Kim's law, law career is actually happening without her even trying. This is the funniest shit off. I ever saw. Kim Kardashian's Met Gala photo helped solve a looted gold Egyptian coffin case. Finally. Finally. Finally, that DeVry degree is coming in handy. <laughs> I flunked Finally, the bar. Kim is working up to the potential that we all knew she had. I can pose next to stolen coffins. Oh my God, I'm in a gold dress like a stolen coffin. Whatever. The fact that her picture is on, on from the 2018 Met Gala posing next to the gold coffin, the people that, were, that were, had the coffin stolen recognized it and sent the pictures. It, it's a, it was all, it was a whole looting like crazy like the the coffin, uh, it was a uh, which uh, the co the thieves who stole the coffin of the Netjamank and sold it to the Metropolitan Museum of Art for four million by using fake documents. Before that, the coffin, which dates back to the first century BC, that's before Caitlin, uh, was dug up from the Almond. <laughs> <laughs> Kim's ass cracked the cake. <laughs> it was back. It was dug up from the Al Minya region of Egypt in 2011 during that year's revolution. So, uh, but so they the picture was it was stolen from them and it was fake documents and they sent and they sold it to the Met Gala of the Metropolitan Museum for four million dollars. So like they're getting it's it's like a crazy. This is like a Law and Order episode. Oh my yeah. god. I, I'm law and order. You don't get it. I totally solved the stolen. I'm Scooby Doo. Oh my God. And they would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for my gold outfit. Like, whatever. <laughs> I can't. Like, Kim just steps in shit and turns to gold. Like, this bitch just walks and oh everything falls into place bitch i need i need to like rub that genie lamp or suck somebody's dick i need to suck people people's been trying to rub her lamp for a long time good night <laughs> <laughs> i need to suck chris jenner's dick because i need some of that fucking luck <laughs> but god but look at kim see all the good things that happen kim when you get rid of kanye Mm -hmm. The masked singer. <laughs> they rip his mask off. <laughs> and I would have got a divorce if it wasn't for you damn kids. I I'm waiting for Ken Jung to find out. That's Kanye under the mask. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to be Shaggy in this episode? Kanye's the bad guy. She's like Fred. Oh, Travis Scott. Perfect. See? <laughs> Zoinks. Get Zoinks. Jinkies. Zoink. Scoob. <laughs> Zoinks. Scoob. I have to. We got to get Chris Jenner on the phone. Let's do it. It's, 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 uh, it's Kimmy Do. <laughs> Kimmy, it's, Kimmy Do. It's Scooby K. Scooby K. <laughs> <laughs> Kimmy, Kimmy, do who did you blue? <laughs> Kimmy, Kimmy, do who are you? You got some dick to suck now. Jinkies, <laughs> jinkies. Oh God, I can't. Oh, that was hilarious. I love you more than my life. I can't even tell you. <laughs> 
This has been the greatest hour of anyone's life. <laughs> I'm toweling down like. <laughs> oh, don't get me started. <laughs> okay. All right, you son of a bitch. Tell everybody where you're at this week. It's this I am week. Myrtle Myrtle Beach. Actually, well, when this airs, I will not be in Myrtle Beach. Yes. <laughs> Coming to the stage, Myrtle Beach. <laughs> Next week, I uh, I'm doing a a pro- couple private events for the the lifestyle oh. uh, that swingers thing that Jim Madrinos. That shit oh, is so Jesus. fucking hilarious. I can't. I'm doing two of them, two different events. I'm. It's 10 minutes, 200 bucks. I get to roast these people and annihilate them and do what I do. And they I love it. love it. Yeah, it's going to be nice. so much fun. I'm so excited. And then uh, November 2nd, it's almost sold out. So if you're in New York and you want to come to the show, get your tickets now. We're only got a few left, which is fucking awesome. Funny women yep. of a certain age with me, Carol Montgomery and Leanne Lord at City Winery. Tickets are on uh, on their website at citywinery.com. Uh, November 6th and 7th, I will be with Andrew Dice Clay at Soul Joel's in Pennsylvania. Uh, those tickets are probably on sale by now and they'll sell out, I'm sure. And uh, November 10th and 11th, I'm also with Andrew Dice Clay up at Levity Live in West Nyack. Yes, That's going to yes. be so much fun. And then Good November room. 13th, I'm doing a VFW benefit for the veterans. Uh, yeah. in new jersey that's going to be a great show um i'll have that all uh, all my uh instagram all that information on there and then uh november 14th the big day sunday november 14th at the comic strip christy unleashed with mark rick and donna live in the new york comedy festival sunday november 14th at 8 p.m with special guest rob bartlett and others to be announced get your Whoa. tickets they're only 10 bucks come out and watch awesome. us live we're gonna do stand up and then we're doing the show live it's gonna be so much fun we hope to see you there and uh where are you gonna be at in the next couple of weeks I don't have my schedule on me, so All right, well, uh, yeah, well, come and see us at the comic strip. Or yeah. my website. <laughs> you can follow Mark Riccadonna at oh. Mark Riccadonna on all social media platforms and go to his website, markricadonna.com for all his show info. You can follow me at Christy Miller Comedy on Instagram and you can follow Christy Unleashed also on Instagram at Christy Unleashed. And uh, don't forget to hit and- like and subscribe. Hi. Follow us. Get the uh, get the updates that whenever it comes up, that you get the little notifications. Yes. Also, take um, my suggestion is take an edible about a half hour before Christy unleash, and you'll laugh as hard as I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you saying? We ain't funny with no damn edible, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but if you take an edible, you turn into Bruce Bruce. <laughs> You'll be howling off. You'll burn calories. You'll get in shape just by watching Christy. <laughs> exactly. And watching Rick Adana too. The best storyteller I've seen in my life. Anyway. Oh, you're the sweetest. Uh, you tell the I would tell stories. you that your cowboy hat and your cowboy shirt looks good, but I don't want to get canceled. So. Oh, you are canceled just for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm canceling you for not saying it, you piece of shit. <laughs> fucking asshole harass you me you it. son of a bitch you hairy <laughs> fucking beast <laughs> oh, Jesus all Christ. right that's another episode of christy unleashed with mark rick and donna i'm christy miller in case you can't figure out the hairy cocksuckers mark rick and donna we are at our new time sundays <laughs> at 9 p.m right here on governor's comedy club radio on the youtube don't forget to hit like subscribe and share hey (laughs) and we'll see you next sunday you piles of shit heathens deuces